Mr. Oops. Chairman, um, we have been working diligently uh, at the board's request to uh, move forward with the force mains in the, in the marsh. And <clears throat> we have uh, a couple of proposals for you this evening. Uh, we have received the report from the engineers and their recommendation with regards to the pipe that has been breached twice is that it be replaced immediately. It is no longer serviceable. The other pipe has one to three years of life left in it and that will be no longer serviceable after that. Uh, what they found is that the current pipe that was, and I'm just going to talk about the one that was damaged mm -hmm. twice, uh, has something in excess of 87% of its, of its uh, strength gone. It's depleted. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. In fact, you can literally dismantle a pipe with your bare hands. That's how bad it is. Um, that being the case, uh, we recommend strongly that with the, with the summer coming and the possibility of, of this pipe again failing, uh, perhaps catastrophically, that the board authorize <clears throat> the use of uh, an, uh, a, a, a secondary main to be laid on top of the ground across the uh, marsh next to Route 101 uh, near the new poles that have been erected down there over to the, down to uh, the Masonic Temple and across across land and down uh, to uh, Tide Mill Road and uh, then hence to the wastewater treatment plant so that we have a, a good line that is currently will be currently usable for us to uh, transmit material down to the, the wastewater treatment plant without failure. We also recommend, as we're doing this, that the, the selectmen authorize us to uh, petition the New Hampshire legislature, um, preferably this week, preferably tomorrow, uh, for special legislation that will allow us to uh, streamline and move forward on the decommissioning of the lines that are there and the installation of new lines um, that a special time meeting be held before August 28th, 2018. Uh, and we already have the legislation drawn, uh, which has been approved by Bond Council. And we would ask the selectmen to approve that. You saw it earlier this evening um, so that we can proceed forward in putting that legislation forward and proceed to, uh, to have a special town meeting to see if the town will authorize the replacement of these pipes as soon as possible. Questions from the board, Mayor Louise. Just, uh, just uh, my favorite thing. Um, we will be using um, plastic pipe. It's a specially designed plastic pipe. Yes. Thank you, Regina. So, you're looking to authorize? I would, I would suggest we do three different yeah. motions, recommendation yes, right. motions off yeah. of what the manager has just gone through for you. Right. right. The first being that you are authorizing that we uh, proceed with replacing that pipe at the earliest possible convenience and and install the surface pipe. Right. If you want to talk what we anticipate the cost to be for that, do you want me to talk about that briefly? Well, yes, we can. Uh, it, it, it appears, and, and this, is, this is only an estimate at this point in time, we are looking to find out whether or not we can get insulated pipe, which does not appear to be available to us currently. But the, the price for non-insulated pipe, which would, may have to be removed in the wintertime depending upon temperatures and so forth, is somewhere in the area of three quarters of a million dollars. Uh, that's for a year. And uh, that's, of course, very expensive. Uh, that will be taken out of the current budget. And, and it will be also put into the warrant article, uh, which will require a bond issue. So uh, we're trying not to overburden the current tax rate. Uh, by trying to meter these things out as we as we go along, so we would be looking for a, for a bond article for a, a bond warrant article at the special town meeting, but the cost for the pipe is approximately three quarters of a million dollars for a year, which breaks down to approximately a hundred thousand to dollars install, install right. and thirteen thousand six hundred dollars per week for the rental of that pipe. We've explored the other options and and find that this is the one we recommend. Right. Rusty. Yes. So, in, in looking at the report from the engineers, yes, sir. Yes. At one point in location A on the report on the table here, the only thing holding that pipe to, is the cement, not the pipe itself, right? It That's says, correct. It says in location A, the cement liner was likely the only remaining wall that was preventing leakage or failure. That's correct. So, what that means is that 
that cement goes, the entire pipe goes. Goes. So I mean, the severity. I, I think. I think we really have to make sure that people realize the severity of what we're talking about right now is not just maybe we're going to have a leak. Mm -hmm. Oh no, we're maybe going to lose the pipe. Will come, but that there are sections of it right now that the, the pipe is not encasing it. It's it's the cement doing right. the job. Yeah, and if you if you look at the area that failed this time and the cement that was in it, it looked like a honeycomb. It just was peppered with holes. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, and that's 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 a terrible sign because. Not only could you take the cement, which is a special hardened type cement that goes in these pipes, and just break it off with your fingers, but you could also take the metal in the pipe and snap it in mm -hmm. two with just your thumb and your index finger. And, and this report is going to be put. It's going to go up online. Town online website. By tomorrow. Yeah. Hopefully, so yes. people, anybody who's interested, can look at the report. I mean, it's, it's a fairly detailed report. It gives good pictures, good graphs. It is. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's really important that. And, it, and we can highlight again in their recommended next steps at the end to be specific for you. It's, it reads in those last two paragraphs. So, based on the pipe thickness measured in the pitting tensile yield elongation testing, it can be concluded that this pipe is near the end of its life. Failures that are more likely to occur in the future include corrosion failures that will develop holes in the exterior of the pipe due to corrosive conditions. At a minimum, the DI force main should be rehabilitated or replaced immediately. And it is based on that recommendation. And again, keep in mind, our public works engineers, the director and assistant director, have been telling us this for two years now, that that pipe lacks confidence. This clearly supports that third party issue, that that pipe essentially is not something we want to continue putting waste through and the risks that it pertains. So we must replace it. That is why we're recommending we do the surface pipe in the immediate and pursue with all possible haste getting the permanent solution done. Right, and it, it's essential that we have the two pipes, right? I mean, it, you, can, you <coughs> cannot operate on one, one pipe. pipe. We can for part of the year, but when it comes to summertime, it yeah. requires two pipes. And if major storms occur, right. even in the winter time, it requires two pipes. Like it did in March. Right. Correct. Mm -hmm. So, Absolutely. so do you want to word them? Yeah, restate. So I would say in the first, well, let's take it the first play, that it's yeah. the, the, the board um, authorize, um, accept the report, the, the report and that the board um, authorized the replacement of these pipes at the earliest possible convenience. I'll do that as your first one. Right. I'll Jim? make that motion. Second. second. Mary Louise, all those in favor? Unanimous. The second I would authorize us to proceed with as soon as practical to install um, the essentially our emergency plan, which is the alternate surface right. pipe, um, as soon as possible. And we will pursue to do that as soon as we finalize the state permitting um, and we have our emergency plan, so we'll move forward with that as soon as possible. I'll make that motion. Second. I'll second it. And just for discussion, the reason that you would do that immediately is because if there was a leak, how long would it take to do that? I mean, if somebody said, well, why don't you wait? Yes. Why? Our emergency plan currently calls for it's at least 11 days, at least 11 days, for us to mobilize uh, hire the company and mobilize them and come in and put that surface pipe in that assumes we have all the state permitting in in place and that type of thing the reason we want to do that is so that we don't have to implement our emergency plan because we must abandon this other we have no confidence additional leaks into the you know the risks of what we will have out of there is unacceptable to us and we feel we need to have another plan so i have a motion and a second all those in favor unanimous and I want to make a comment, please. Uh, so pursuing this legislatively mm -hmm. by presenting a bill yes. is going to drastically decrease the amount of time we have to wait to go to a town meeting, correct? That is the reason we recommend the third for your consideration is to direct us to pursue filing uh, a piece of emergency legislation to authorize us to move forward with a special town meeting for bonding purposes and a condensed schedule um, in order to replace these pipes at the earliest possible time. I'm so, ready to make that motion. Okay, motion, second. second. Any questions? All those in favor? But you n oh. Uh oh. What? I had a question. Oh, <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Wait, I think it slipped my mind. <laughs> Mind's a terrible thing. It is. So. Well, while Mr. Waddell is thinking, may we provide or will we be authorized to provide copies of? The study with the pictures and the the, um, the public document. Recap. Now, yes. 
yes. to Mr. It is a Solomon. public document. It's going to be put on the the uh, town okay. account tomorrow morning. Because he'll want documentation. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a public tomorrow. document. It's been distributed to the board. It's been discussed and yeah. approved, so it is a public document. Yes, We'd like can. to see that on, uh, in the Hampton Union. And Jim, you figure out your question? No. Nah. All right. So we have a motion. <laughs> all those in favor? Unanimous. I want to thank you guys for, for all the work you've done this weekend. I know you guys have been working extra hard. And I also want to thank your contacts at the state who have also been helping us with this. Yeah, and, and that's been, thank you for pointing that out. I mean, again, Fred and I are just here presenting, but this is a team of the whole oh, yeah. crew of legal finance and most importantly, the amount of work that's been done by Jen and Chris done at Public yeah, Works in their team. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that report was very well done. Any, Any other Nelson? questions or, or, oh. or issues for us? Mm -hmm. Nope. Anything else on a new business?